And uh, uh, whether you've had cause to shout thank you this week. I mean, maybe you've had cause to shout, tell us the truth! Got very little back. <laughs> However, if you have, I'd like you to tell me harvests, bird top trumpingtons, and all menopausal madness, park it here, freeze a roulette, you know, in order to put something in from the harvest, you might you might have to have pulled something out. It could have been a mole. Tell me what it was. Uh, children insulting you by accident. And uh, we always need a bit of moho and caravan news. Moho and caravan. Uh, and the, you know, if you've had a moment of pleasure and you think we'd benefit from hearing about it, then come on, share. Uh, you can, of course, the very least you can do is tell me what you have for tea. 88291 lisa.t at bbc.co.uk I love a good cover. You know that. I can't bear a bad cover. Who can? However, I think I like it that it's a sort of a... It's a bit of double pleasure because you've got one artist homaging another, which makes them quite human, doesn't it, really? So, um... You know, loving a song so much that you want to have a go at it, it's almost daring. So from the album Through the Looking Glass, here's Susie and the Banshees. Mm -hmm. 